Okay, so um, it's nine o'clock. So um, hi everyone. Um, so welcome to today's um, Emu Zoom seminar. Again, I want to thank the speaker, uh, Yuli, to actually take the time with us during the weekend. And obviously everyone here be with us uh, uh, during the weekend. So uh, it's really my pleasure to welcome today's uh, speaker, Dr. Yuli, Yuli Ling uh, from uh, Fudan University. Uh, so uh, Yuli currently associate professor in the Department of Immunology, Shanghai Basic Medical School uh, in, from Fudan University. So um, <clears throat> Yuli actually um, did uh, her uh, undergraduate study and master's study, uh, both in Nanjing University. Um, and then um, she uh, wanted to actually pursue uh, further biomedical training. So from uh, 2011, she decided to pursue um, PhD training in basic medical science. Uh, so she uh, started uh, her uh, PhD training in Fudan University. Uh, and then from 2014, she stayed in Fudan and then uh, continue her uh, basic medical science training as a postdoc. Um, and then she started her uh, research program from 2017 um, in Fudan. And then until 2019, she got promoted as associate professor in a school of basic medical science uh, as associate professor. So um, Yuli's lab actually uh, mainly focused on regulatory uh, machinery of type two immune response, which I think we're going to hear a lot about today uh, in pancreas and then adipo uh, tissues, and then try to illustrate the immunomodulatory uh, role of metabolic molecules in inflammatory uh, uh, diseases such as uh, pancreatitis and the obesity, which I think also uh, we're gonna hear a lot about, about that uh, today. So I think without further ado, uh, thank you so much, uh, Yuli, to Take your time with us and then deliver the lecture. So the floor is yours. Uh, please go ahead. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, thank you very much to the ImmunoZoom organizer, Professor Wu, uh, for the invitations. And I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to have this talk. In here, I would like to report some work of our lab in recent years which is about initiation signal or type 2 immune response in pancreatitis. Um, uh, first of all, um, I will introduce what is pancreatitis. Uh, pancreatitis is a major inflammatory disease of pancreas. Uh, it, it usually contains acute and chronic form. Um, the acute form is a new onset inflammatory occurred in a previously uninflammed pancreas that may result before cause damage to the pancreas. And around about 21% uh, of patients suffer the first acute pancreatitis will develop recurrent acute pancreatitis. Uh, all, all the develop recurrent acute pancreatitis they are about uh, uh, 36 will develop chronic pancreatitis. So the pancreatitis is a high risk for the pancreatic cancers and lack the effective drugs. Mm. Current uh, pancreatitis develops slowly, uh, start with a cell injury, followed by disorders and inflam inflammations. Uh, so pancreatic fibrosis is, is an important pathology further of the chronic pancreatitis and the mainly cause of the pancreatic functions. So uh, what is a tissue fibrosis is not a disease, but rather an outcome of the tissue repair response for the tissue injury. Uh, fibrosis can affect any organs, which can lead to disorder uh, disrupt of tissue remodel, organ dysfunction, and inflammatory is a hallmark uh, and the important cause of fibrosis. Uh, fibrosis, uh, fibrosis mechanism involved in a three, uh, a three stage. And the first is about the inflammatory activation loops, uh, which immune cells play a very important role for this stage. 
uh, disease specifically and the site specifically triggers will derive uh, look trying uh, tissue inflammatory and the activity T help cell two and the macrophage uh, uh, polarization. And this then secrete a amount of polyfibrotic cytokine. Then fibrotic tissue will remodel. Uh, this pro-fibrotic uh, pro vector secreted by immune cells will activate the uh, resistant fibrosis and induce the uh, chance differentiation of viral, virus tissue type to myfoid cells. And the last station is fibrosis uh, self-amplifying. Progression tissue remodel induced the cell for stars, uh, sustaining activity the lupus, which first a uh, present activity the phenotype of myofibrosis fibrosis in fibrotic disease. So uh, fibrosis is a high dynamic process. Um, um, the, uh, it includes the intonation uh, stage and the progression stage. And the mechanism of the early intonation are different, but the mechanism of progression in the late stage of fibrosis uh, are most similar. So we can see that here, uh, the immune cell, an immune cell play a very important role for the fibrosis and uh, it uh, proves the initial signals for uh, tissue fibrosis. Uh, and the uh, pancreatic stellar cells are critical, are critical for the pancreatic fibrosis, uh, which occurred as a consequence of the inflammatories. Uh, such as acute pancreatic injury will provide signals to intonation, the activation of the pancreatic uh, cells. However, uh, in transformation from the acute to a chronic stage, uh, more signal needed to uh, maintain the further uh, pancre uh, pancreatic stellate uh, cells activation uh, to further promote the fibrosis progression. So the, uh, it is very important to to uh, to help uh, the to to revise the signal that uh, sustain the PPS act PSC's activations. So uh, there have two signals which have been uh, suggested as a trigger and the sustains of fibrosis. Uh, the first one is TGA beta signals. And the TGA beta signal is a very important pro fiber gen uh, genetic, uh, genetic, gen genetic cytokines. Um, macrophage play very uh, crucial roles for trigger TGA beta in here. Uh, so macrophage can secrete uh, that pro-inflammatory such as L1, L6, or TNFR5, which uh, can mediate the tissue damage by directly act on the tissue cells. Or it also can uh, activate the neutrophils to produce the RLS, uh, thereby induce the tissue damage. Otherwise, macrophage group uh, provide the TGF beta itself and activate it. So gives the abundant pre uh, clinical data um, a very, very much surge a target to TGA beta activation assembled in clinical trials. Uh, however, the problem is that um, uh, patient safety was a very important consideration in the TGF beta training because TGF beta play a very important role in many physio uh, physiological processes, uh, especially that immune, uh, immune surprises. So it's the activations may lead to a series of complement. So uh, they also have another signal uh, message pathway that which is independent TGF beta. This is type two cytokine things. Uh, here, uh, the type two cytokine signal, which include the first, it should have an alarming, alarming cytokines uh, such as L25, L33, or TSLP which is secreted by the epithelial cells and the other damaged tissue cells. Uh, this cytokine will derive the activation uh, of the ILC2 that secreted a large amount of L5, L5 and L13. Uh, and L5 will in turn derive the recreation and activation of the uh, local tissue uh, eosinophils. Uh, 
uh, which provide uh, additional source of type two immune uh, uh, type two uh, immune cytokines and uh, other pro-fibrotic uh, mediators. Uh, uh, it also can secrete uh, like IL thirteen, and IL thirteen will derived from a uh, Uh, from the TH two or eosinophils and LC two also uh, also supported it. Uh, so uh, IL seventeen uh, is a very strong fibrotic uh, cytokines, uh, which is independent TGF beta signal. Finally, uh, my five cells, my five cells produced ECM two response to this. Uh, uh, this pro fibrotic mediators, which include the TGF beta activation and the type 2 uh, cytokines. Uh, both signals are thought to play a very important role in the activation of fibrosis and uh, uh, include the initiation and the uh, sustain of fibrosis activation. Uh, so now the inhibitor of the IL-13 alone or by specific antibody against IL-4 and IL-13 have been tested in uh, phase two trials for the lung, skin, and the fibrosis, uh, fi uh, liver fibrosis. But so far, its infection was uh, negative or mixed. Uh, so this may be due to this com complex of the uh, intermodule of the uh, type 2 immune system. Uh, immune response. Uh, so more, uh, more, more research is still needed in the further explored and uh, related mechanism in the fibrosis. So far, the stage of the type 2 immune in pancreatitis is still uh, unclear. Uh, here is a two study about the type 2, uh, type two immune response in pancreatitis. And, and the left one is uh, that uh, which is a uh, public Public issued with Xie Jin uh, at 2014. Uh, he reported, uh, she reported that the role of M2 in pancreatitis. And uh, uh, another study was about uh, L17, L17, which she found uh, very, very important for the NOD and uh, CR mediated uh, the pancreatitis. And uh, at present, uh, there's no cystic uh, sense. Sen the somatic analysis of the type 2 immune limitations and the cytokine dispersions during the pancreatic uh, fibrosis. So uh, here we want first to, uh, to uh, that's why we did this program. Uh, so first we applied an ethanol dye and repeat uh, uh, several injections uh, to induce a mass model for, uh, of the chronic uh, pancreatitis. Uh, then we have the tissues for single cells uh, sequence analyze. And with the single cell uh, sequence uh, sequ analyze, we noted that there's a bond of the immune cells with infiltration into the pancreas of CP, uh, suggests that chronic pancreatitis is an immune disease order. Uh, otherwise, with the flow cytal detectors, uh, several type 2 cytokine, uh, 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 several uh, several type 2 immune cells, which include LC2, TH2, and M2 like microphage, were infiltrated into the uh, uh, pan pancreatic tissues of the chronic, uh, uh, chronic pancreatitis. So, um, but there's less of eosinophils, and LC1, LC3 were detected in these uh, tissues. Uh, so we, we and with its progression of the fibrosis, uh, we examined at day at day seven and day twenty one. Uh, we found that the infiltration of type two immune cells were increased, uh, especially the ILC two. Uh, so otherwise, we used the human sample to confirm that ILC two was increased in the human pancreatitis by uh, uh, tissues. So this data indicated that activation of type 2 immune, uh, immune response in pancreatitis, uh, especially with the immune cells uh, infiltration. And consistently, we also noted that type 2 cytokines, such as IL-13, uh, IL-4, and IL-5, were increased in the pancreatitis, uh, pancreatitis of clinical pancreatitis mouse. And by using the report mouse and the flow cycle analysis, 
We found that IL-17 IL and IL-4 are derived from the T cells and the IL-C2, uh, while IL-5 uh, are mainly derived from the IL-C2 uh, in chronic pancreatic tissues. Uh, can see that there's a small number of T cells in the early stage of the chronic pancreatitis. Uh, we believe that IL-C2 is a major resource of type 2 immunocytokine in the early stage of the fibrosis. Uh, and when uh, the fibrosis is become severe, uh, uh, both T cells and IL-C2 will contribute a large number of the type 2 cytokines. And at the same time, we also observed that number of eosinophils uh, is very, very few. So we think uh, uh, that the eosinophil may play a little role in the pancreatitis, uh, chronic pancreatitis fibrosis. So what's the effect of the T cells and LC2 on the pancreatic fibrosis? Uh, we used the anti -TH, uh, THY 1.2 uh, antibody and the RAG1 knockout mouse to deplete the T cell uh, or deplete the T cell and LC2 together. Uh, 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 use the anti, uh, using the anti THY 1.2 antibody we, uh, combined with the uh, in the RAG1 knockout mouse can deplete the T cell and the LC2 together. And the degrees of the fibrosis were only a little, a little in degrees in the reg one knockout mouse and compared with the white type. Um, but more importantly, we noted that depleted LC2 and, uh, and the T cells both in the reg one knockout mouse were markedly degraded the pancreatic fibrosis in the uh, it, uh, the, the, which suggests that uh, LC2, but not T cells, play a domino role in, the, in this fibrotic uh, microenvironment. And uh, can, compared with uh, 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 compared with that uh, uh, T cell deficiency, reg one knockout mouse, uh, they are also less less M2 like macrophages in here. Uh, and less cytokine, uh, type 2 cytokines were detected in the uh, LC2 depleted uh, uh, reg one knockout mouse, uh, which suggests in, uh, that uh, uh, LC2 requires for the type 2 immune response during the chronic uh, pancreatitis uh, uh, progression. And also uh, can, uh, can, can tell us that the LC2 is the major source of the type 2 cytokines. And uh, to, to determine whether LC2 induced the fibrosis was uh, mediated through the type 2 immune response, uh, we also used the uh, IL4 receptor alpha knockout mouse uh, uh, to deplete the IL4 and the IL13 uh, uh, signals. Uh, the degree of fibrosis is that IL4 uh, alpha receptor knockout mouse was partly. Uh, partly reduced, but not to the extent that LC2 was elim eliminated, uh, suggests that LC2 can co-promote fibrosis through signal other than type 2 immune response. Uh, so what's the other, uh, other signals? Uh, our, our, seek, our single cell, the INSEQ data revised that uh, LC2 also expressed uh, cytokines such as IL-13, uh, LIF AREG, uh, this, this, uh, this genes uh, higher than any other cells. Uh, this cytokine was previously thought to play a very important role in fibrosis uh, progression, activation, and tissue repairs. Uh, therefore, we consider whether LC2 could act directly on the fibrosis. Uh, so we examined that the, uh, this protein's level in the uh, in the LC2 depletion mouse. Uh, we found that LC2 uh, uh, we found that LF, LIF a, AMP and L13 uh, were decreased in the LC2 depleted Reg1 knockout mouse. Confirmed that those cytokine was major derived from LC2 in chronic pancreatitis. Otherwise, the receptor of this cytokine, uh, L13 receptor, uh, which include L4 receptor, L13 receptor alpha 1, LIF4 receptor, uh, which include L6 ST, LIFR, and the EGFR, uh, was majorly uh, expressed on the 
a PLC, which suggested that IFOC2 may could directly act on PLC with, uh, through these signals. So to determine whether uh, IFOC2 derived this cytokine were responsible for activation to a PLC, uh, we first uh, to demonstrate that, uh, this effect on a PLC in vitros. Uh, we found that IL-13, LIFO, AMP could significantly promote the proliferation and activation of PSC. Then we treat with PSC with the condition media of the pancre uh, pancreatic ILC2, uh, then block this uh, IL-13 LIFOMP signals. Uh, this block significantly revised the proliferation of the activation induced by condition medians, which uh, consistently uh, the depletion of the LC2 markedly decreased the, the proliferation and the activation of PSC in reg one mouse, knockout mouse. So uh, the, uh, the, uh, here we confirm that LC2 can promote uh, pancreatic cell cells activation and proliferation uh, directly. So uh, uh, I have, have a little uh, summary. Here we confirm that LC2 uh, play an important initiation and also is a participant Paid uh, roles in this progression of the pancreatitis by regulating the type two immune uh, immune response, and also he can directly act it on the myofibrosis directly. So, uh, what's the trigger signals for the ILC two? Uh, um, that's what next we want to know. Uh, uh, there's a lot of study has suggested that injury tissue were secreted such as ILC. Uh, L33, F25, uh, and the TSLP will help to activate the or help uh, to uh, to activate the LC2. So uh, and IL17, L33, and IL25 uh, were being suggested uh, very important to induce the LC2 activation, and the TSLP was suggested to in, uh, will help. The, ILC2 to, to survive in the uh, tissues. So we first detected that IL-13-3 and IL-25 in our system. And we found that uh, IL-33 rather than IL-25 were increased in chronic pancreatic tissues. And consistently, the number of IL-33 positive uh, cells uh, positive cell were detected in the most chronic pancreatic tissues. Uh, otherwise, that IL-33 is required its recept as T2 to uh, to ex, ex, uh, to uh, to use uh, to play its cytokine set, set functions. So uh, it, it was also reported that XT2 can express the, on the both immune cells and non-immune cells, uh, such as Th2 drug and LC2. Uh, the non-immune cells include fibrosis and epithelial cells. So we applied it as T2 knockout mouse to construct a general mouse model. And the result showed that knockout, uh, knockout of ST2 on immune cells could suppress the progression of pancreatic fibrosis. Uh, our single cells data also showed that ST2 was mainly uh, expressed on the ice of C2. So as uh, uh, this study uh, suggested that LC2 may the potential uh, trigger for LC2 act, uh, activating in the chronic pancreatitis. Uh, then we use the at L33 GFP report mouse to identify the major source cells of the LC33 uh, uh, is in the pancreas. And the quantity of the IL-33 EGFP positive uh, cells were increased in pancreatitis of the uh, uh, IL-13 report mouse with chronic pancreatitis. And furthermore, IL-33 was predominantly expressed in the cells lack of the leukocytes, epithelicytes, and the endothelial cells. 
but expressed on the stromal cells, which expressed, uh, which uh, uh, indicated by the PDD F receptor R51 positive, uh, remaining positive, and the SAC1 positive. Uh, so we also use the influence uh, colocalization to confirm that L17 was uh, majorly expressed in the PDF, PDF receptor R51 positive and uh, core co one, uh, college one positive cells, which uh, indicated that it's fibrosis, fibroblast cells. And uh, we exclude, exclude that uh, CD45 has Q immune cells and ester cells, uh, smooth muscle, muscular cells and the dark cells uh, did not express that L7Q3, L33. Uh, so uh, we genetic we generated uh, a MOS model which is specifically uh, depleted L thirty three in pancreatic uh, stellate cells uh, which cross that L thirty three flux mouse with the uh, uh, PDGF receptor alpha one um, cream mouse. And we found that loose L33 in pancreatic stellate cells can significantly reduce the infiltration of the uh, LC2, uh, type 2 cytokines, and the other kind of type 2 uh, immune cells also decreased in the uh, pancreatic, uh, pancreatic stellar cell specific depletion of the L33, uh, which suggested that the pancreatic local uh, type 2 immune response was regulated by the uh, L33 signals. And consistently, loose of L33 can decelerate that pancreatic fibrosis. So in here, we confirmed that L33 will trigger, will trigger LC2 to initiation for uh, the type 2 immune response. Uh, so nextly, we want to know what is the signal that induced the PSC to express and release the L17 in, this, in the pancreatic tissue. So we come back to analyze uh, our single cells data and to uh, we found that uh, for, uh, single cell data revised that the uh, heterogeneity of the uh, PSCs. And we especially noted that uh, PSC class to four explored the uh, high, uh, high inflammatory response and the growth, uh, growth factor activations and the lipid metabolism uh, related genes and the pathways uh, than other cells which suggested that a PSC class 4 may play a very key role in the development of pancreatic fibrosis. Uh, otherwise, we also noted that IL-73 was major express in this uh, PSC class 4. And we also noted that a PSC have higher lipid metabolism than did this higher uh, lipid metabolism in uh, class 4 will affect IL-73 uh, expression. Uh, so we analyzed the expression of the, this uh, lipid uh, uh, scavenger receptor in L17 positive and negative PSA. Uh, we found that VLD uh, 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 a, a mediator, a mediator of, uh, for the VLD uptake uh, is highly expressed in EGF, uh, L17 3 EGFP positive cells. And we also uh, confirmed the expression of the VLDO in uh, L33 positive uh, uh, cells through that uh, influence uh, colocalization and uh, the flow sedimentary. So we uh, we also use uh, use this as a condition mouse model. Um, the mouse specifically depleted the uh, VLDO in the uh, PSC. Uh, by crossing the VLD or uh, uh, receptor flux mouse with the PDGF receptor one cream mouse. And we found that our uh, uh, deflication of VLDO are in PSC can significantly reduce the expression. Uh, and and the L33 uh, release in vitro and in the 18th, it's, it's, it's expression and the release are dependent on VLDO. Uh, and consistently lose a VODR in PSC can significantly reduce the type 2 immune response, which suggesting that uh, uh, pancreatic type 2 immune response can be regulated uh, through the uh, VODR 
uh, induced uh, L thirty three signals on the PSCs. Uh, as a major fact of the VODOR is mediated that we are VODO uptake, uh, we supported that VODOR may response a uh, response for the PSC uh, is a uh, high, higher higher lipid uh, metabolism of uh, in class uh, class four. So we check that the lipid loaded and the VODO uptake ability in the uh, in the PSC. And we found that a loose OVLDOR expression in PSC will result in reduce, reduce intracellular lipid accumulation and uptake of the VLDOR, VLDO, but not the fat acid uptake. So we confirmed that VLDOR may respond for the cellular lipid accumulation through uptake of VLDO. Then and here we, we, we should need, need a cell model to explore the, the mechanism of the L3, uh, uh, where, the, where the L3 expression could be needed by the LDOR. Uh, but we note, we found that their lower VLDOR was expressed in the quiescent uh, PSCs and uh, stimulated with VLDO alone was insufficient to induce the VLDO expression. Uh, as oxidative stress is a hallmark of pancreatitis, uh, we speculate that oxid oxidative stress may uptake the expression of the VODO uh, in PSC. So we export the uh, PSC to the oxygen inducer hydrogen peroxide. Uh, and the hydrogen peroxide treatment promotes the expression of the VODO receptor. Um, the way, uh, we also uh, Mm. Then, um, cold treatment of the VLDO and the hydrogen peroxide significantly induce, uh, increased uh, that VLDO R receptor. Uh, here we noted that uh, treat, uh, treat hydrogen uh, oxide alone uh, only induced the VLDO R receptor expression and the R uh, accumulation, but cannot induce the lipid accumulation here. Uh, only combine uh, only combine VODO and the hydrogen uh, hydrogen uh, peroxide uh, can induce lipid drop forms. So, which we think that uh, stimulated with uh, hydrogen hydrogen ox ox uh, uh, peroxide and uh, uh, VODO together will help will is a suitable cell model to mimic the lipid loaded uh, PSC in vivo. Um, well, then we, we use this cell model for the uh, next uh, ex experiment. And we found that VLDO uh, and uh, combined with uh, the hydrogen peroxide treated uh, could induce the IL-33 expression and release uh, and also the lipid uh, accumulations in, in PSCs. And the depleted VLDOR in the PSCs will decrease that VLDO and the hydrogen peroxide uh, elevated that lipid form L thirty three expression and released in PSCs, uh, which suggested that VLDO receptor is responsible for the L seventy induction and uh, release uh, also uh, in the PSCs. Uh, next, uh, we want to examine that uh, uh, this signal for the pancreas fibrosis. Uh, we found that uh, pancreas weight and his uh, pancreas weight, uh, his uh, histological uh, analysis and uh, the standings uh, showed that uh, pancreatic inflammatory and the fibrosis uh, were significantly uh, decreased in the PBS, uh, PSC depleted VLDOR mass. And uh, this result suggests that uh, the PSC expression, the VLDOR, is important for, for the progressions of the pancreatic fibrosis. And to test whether L70, uh, L33 was responsible for it, uh, we inject L33 into VLDOR. Uh, Deficient uh, flux mass or uh, PSC deficient VODR mass. 
uh, we found that our thirty three clearly induced that uh, pro, uh, fibrosis in pancreatic on uh, this uh, Y type uh, VODR flux mouse and the uh, VODR without PSC. Uh, 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 PSA depleted VODR mouse, and this data demonstrated that L33 may uh, trans uh, translate the VODR induced lead accumulation of PSC into the pathological fibrosis. Uh, so, in here, we confirmed that VODR is a marker for all the activated PSC and responsible for the uh, lipid accumulated in the PSCs. Uh, and we uh, DOR induced uh, this lipid uh, accumulated accumulation will support uh, that L33 expression and release in PSCs. So, and what's the signal induced uh, PSC to express and release the L33 in pancreatic tissues? Uh, 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 the uh, previously uh, study from our in vivo and in vitro experiment has showed that uh, a knockout VODOR will uh, directly affect the L33 expression and uh, and uh, uh, and the release. So uh, we uh, we we detect that uh, lipid metabolisms in the cells uh, with hydrogen treat and the VODOR. Uh, treatment, and we found that many, many, many VODO lipid metabolism metabolism were increased in the uh, treated uh, PSCs, and we uh, treated uh, that PSC with this uh, different uh, uh, lipid metabolite, and we found that LA were uh, was significantly enhanced the L thirty three expressions. Uh, then uh, we, we, we want to explore the YLA could mitigate that uh, L73. Uh, uh, this study suggests that uh, LA could significantly enhance the L33 expressions, uh, but uh, uh, intracellular L33 need to be released to the extracellular. Uh, space to produce its uh, cytokine effect. So uh, usually L33 was located in the nuclear of the cells, uh, but when it should, uh, it should transform from the nuclear cytoplasma and then to extracellular cells uh, to play its cytokine functions. So we also want to know whether LA could mediate the L33 released. And we found that LA could promote that IL-33 release, and which also can induce the uh, ER stress in the uh, PSCs and use the ER stress inhibitor or JNK uh, inhibitors uh, can eff effectively block the LA induced IL-33 release by decreased uh, uh, released in here. Uh, so uh, we also uh, so we also oh, we also confirmed that uh, supplemental LA can promote fibrosis, uh, can promote pancreatic fibrosis uh, and the mediated by uh, in the uh, VODR deficient uh, PSC mines. Uh, so in here, uh, let's conclude in my study. Uh, in here, we confirm that VODR uh, mediated lipid accumulations will help PSC to get that uh, sustained uh, signal, uh, which can uh, keep it uh, activations. Uh, otherwise, uh, the VODR metabolite LA was responsible for the L17, L33 expression and released in the PSCs. Uh, L33 activated LC2 uh, activation will initiate uh, the type 2 immune response in the pancreatic fibrosis progression. And the depleted the VODO receptor or L33 in PSCs will provide the type 2 immune response and the pancreatic fibrosis. So, our study, uh, first, uh, 
to tell uh, what is uh, uh, how uh, the video DOR provides the signal to sustain that PSC activation. Uh, uh, other than we, uh, we confirm that L33 and L32 play a very important role uh, to innate, innate, innate type 2 immune response in chronic pancreatitis, and which uh, include uh, its, its cell. It, uh, to activate uh, type 2 immune cells and both uh, will activate uh, that my fibrosis the proliferation directly. So uh, at last, I want to thank you for my group member, include Guo Yang Yang, Feng Xie, Ma Shui, uh, for their contribution for this works. And uh, uh, they perform many much uh, experimental and did this single cell seek analysis. And I also want to thank for the collaborations, uh, Xu Guanyang, uh, who provide the human chronic uh, pancreatic tissues, uh, Professor Mi Wenli and Zhou Hong, uh, who support many, many, uh, many genetic mice for this study. Uh, I also want to thank Xiao Liu Lin, Liu Yang, who provide a lot of knowledge about lipid metabolism for this study. And thank you very much for your attention.